I'm Sarah Backhouse for Future360. We're in Silicon Valley for the Cleantech Opens Global Forum. This is the nation's largest accelerator and cleantech competition. We're a nonprofit organization and we're trying to help as many entrepreneurs as possible. This industry sector is like no other. It actually requires being able to work with the government. It requires being able to work with investors in a more intelligent way. And that type of training can be provided by the Cleantech Open. The event kicked off with Investor Connect. This is what speed dating looks like VC style. Behind me are 60 VCs and investors and 70 cleantech companies vying for their attention. It's a platform where the entrepreneurs can show off their new ideas and get advice and get feedback and hopefully funding as well. Investor Connect was great this morning. I actually really ex it exceeded our expectations. More than half were new companies to us and perfect fits to our mandate. I was in the Investor Connect meeting, which was very exciting. I already identified two or three that we might want to work with at Park. The Global Forum is a culmination of a year-long accelerator program. Over the past 12 months, the Cleantech organization's mentors have been asking the entrepreneurs some tough questions. Are they focused on the right markets? Do they have a full product to fit into those markets? Do they have a, an appropriate corporate structure plan, channel plan, those kind of things? We help hone their business strategies. Execution and strategic vision is often lost with a lot of startups. So having very strong mentoring is a key component. We're an alumni from last year's program where we won the Rocky Mountain region, and it really helps you focus on your business message for investors as well as delivery. We all do lots of homework, you know, spend lots of time researching our fields, but sometimes just a single hour with an industry expert that you get connected through an event like this is completely invaluable to compare to whatever you can do, like looking for yourself. Sponsors have a mutually beneficial relationship with the organization. pg e encourages this type of atmosphere, encourages innovators and, and entrepreneurs that are coming up with new ideas that can really continue to push the energy business further. It allows us access to these early stage companies at the very earliest stage, so right when they're uh, incorporating, right when they're testing the waters. I found this ecosystem that they were creating to be totally unique and it was really providing um, opportunity and a platform for the very early stage entrepreneurs. And so that, that can be a little bit rare. It really helps as a convening mechanism to get people excited around a particular platform and inspiring entrepreneurs to come together, learn from each other, learn from investors and other market participants to build better, more sustainable companies that are going to be more transformative in the space. So why clean tech and why now? Most everyone in the world seems to understand now that we're not going to be able to sustain the burning of fossil fuels and wasting of energy the way we have become accustomed to. Unless we change the way we do business, the way we live, and the way we interact with each other on a global construct, the next generation and the generation after that are going to have some serious issues to deal with. And what better way to address it than leveraging the power of capitalism? These entrepreneurs have a huge amount of passion, and we call this we passion, not just me passion, right? We're talking about individuals who are really after solving some of the world's biggest problems. Those guys tend not to give up. The one thing that we have in America is great innovation. Uh, and the ability of people to think openly, to, to really reach out, stretch the bounds of the technical limits as we know them today. And the Cleantech Open allows those ideas to be presented. The Global Forum is coming to a close. We've heard from all 21 finalist companies. That's been whittled down to five. All that remains is to find out who will take top spot. And the winner is HEVT, producer of next generation electric motors and just one of the startup companies helping solve critical global problems.